I feel like I'm doing really well with this today. That was way harder than it should be for me. I've already peed like five times today. And yeah, it's really amazing what water can do for your body. Those are my day four observations. Four to go. I am literally the worst at chugging. Hello everyone, what's up and welcome back to another video. So happy to have you here and today we are doing quite a challenge for me. This might not be anything crazy for anyone else, but um, definitely going to be a challenge for me. So I thought it would be a fun little challenge or experiment on drinking a gallon of water every day for a week. For me, this is going to be quite the struggle because I am the worst person ever at drinking water. I don't know if I always have been, but like the past couple years, I've been awful at it. But something's gotta change and I figured that this challenge would be a good way to hold me accountable and keep me motivated to drink water throughout the day. So I'm gonna be using my fitness pal to track all the water that I'm drinking and there is 128 fluid ounces in a gallon of water. So that's how much I'm gonna be trying to drink or more every day. If I had to guess how much water I drink on a daily basis, on average, I would say probably like 40 ounces a day, which is so bad. But we're gonna try and make a healthy conscious change and start to drink more water. So without further ado, wish me luck and let's get on into this gallon of water a day challenge, shall we? <laughs> It is day one of this challenge. I'm really excited to get started and see how hard it actually is for me to drink a gallon of water in one day because I am the worst at drinking water um, and I'm just never really thirsty. So this is like a good way to force myself to actually drink the amount of water I should be having every day. I did the calculations and if I drink one of these mason jars full of water, this is 13.7 ounces. Also my sodium intake is pretty low and I never add salt to anything I'm eating. So I feel like I'm just never really thirsty and also I drink iced coffee only, you know, in Celsius. So I don't know, I feel like that quenches my thirst. Anyways, choose for a first glass of water. I need a breather. Time to down the hatch. Okay. One down. I am literally the worst at chugging. Like, it doesn't matter what liquid, I am awful at chugging. Round two, here we go. That was way harder than it should be for me, but we did it. So I'm going to head to skating. I think I'll bring a bottle of water. And um, yeah, I'll see you, I will see you after skating for some more H2O. Well, ladies and gents, I am back. I mean, I'm in the same spot, but I went to skating, came back, and it's time to drink more water. I do know my hair is looking a bit rough, but it is what it is. Cheers to my fourth glass. Well, I did actually have a glass of water this morning that I totally forgot to show. So this is my fifth, technically. Day one was a success and uh, we'll see you bright and early for day two. Good morning world, it is yet another day. The sun is not shining. It is snowing again outside, but it is day two of this challenge. Um, we're sitting on the floor as you can see, but I wanted to switch it up today and see if this would be an easier way for me to drink a gallon. So today I'm gonna be drinking out of this bottle of water because it has like a little sippy straw. I don't know, I seem to drink water a lot faster when it's out of a straw. 
So we're gonna test it out today, see if it makes a difference or if I'm gonna struggle just as much as yesterday. One down, four to go. I literally don't think I've ever seen my eye bags this aggressive. Um, I worked out, took a shower, had breakfast, and this is the last of my second bottle of water. Bottle number three. I've already peed like five times today. Number four. Aside from the fact that I'm peeing like 24-7, I'm feeling really, really good. Um, and I haven't been bloated at all today. Like usually right after I eat, I get super bloated and that hasn't happened so far. So thumbs up to that. Um, good morning, everyone. I'm happy day three. Today is the first day I'm waking up and I'm actually thirsty, which is a really good sign. So let's head downstairs and um, have my first bottle of water. Bottle number two. And it is 9.22 right now. Off to a good start today. Third bottle down. Two more to go. I feel like I'm doing really well with this today. Like it is currently 3.19 and I only need to drink two more of these to reach a gallon. So we love that. Let's do a little refill. And um, I think I'm gonna make some baked oatmeal because I'm a big oatmeal fan. If you didn't know, now you do. And just like that, we have drank a gallon of water. It is currently 4.54 and it is day four of the challenge. I'm currently just finishing up my gallon for the entire day. I feel like as the days are going on, I'm finishing my gallon sooner and sooner. So I'm trying to space it out throughout the day, but like I constantly have to pee. So there's that, like I, I literally have to pee right now and I just peed like 10 minutes ago. Little TMI, but that is the reality of this. My stomach has been very unsettled. Like I've had an upset stomach all day and I don't really know why because like I pretty much eat the same things every day so maybe the water is just flushing out any like toxins in my body because I'm also breaking out a little on my face and like I can't tell you the last time I had a pimple. I have like four now developing on my face. One is an ingrown pimple which hurts really really bad but it's definitely getting a lot easier to drink this much every day and every morning I wake up and I'm like excited to have a glass of water like I'm actually thirsty so those are my day four observations I have like this much left and then I will have drank my gallon for the day it is day five of this challenge it is currently 8 6 p.m. today was a really easy day as far as drinking goes like I think I finished my gallon of water by four o'clock today so i've had way more than a gallon and i'm still peeing constantly and my face is still breaking out but i think it's just literally flushing out all the unnecessary toxins in my body so this challenge is definitely a lot easier than i thought it would be considering how little water i drink um, and we have two days left. I haven't weighed myself since day one, so it'll be interesting to see if I lose any weight. I'm really not trying to. I've just heard with other people who have done this challenge, they've lost a few pounds, so yeah. But anyways, we will check back in tomorrow for day six. Well guys, it is currently Saturday, day six of this challenge. Um, it's currently 3.03 and I've probably never looked worse in my life. Um, I am feeling extremely self-conscious right now with the pimples on my chin, but that's life. I really don't know why my face is breaking out considering I'm drinking more water, and it's aggravating. Like, it's very, very aggravating. They're like ingrown, but they're super red now, so they're starting to heal, but yeah, I've already drank my gallon for the day, so obviously I'm gonna be going over that number again since I still have the whole rest of the afternoon and night. I don't really have 
any problems with headaches or migraines or anything like that but yeah I haven't had any headaches my energy levels are through the roof and as someone who usually is like very energetic like go 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 they're elevated even more so it is day seven of this challenge the final day and I will admit it's literally 11 o'clock at night sorry I didn't update sooner but I did drink another gallon today today was the final day of the challenge and I have to pee again like as I'm speaking right now my pimple decided to stay another few days um, wanted to extend its visit but I'm going to oh my god that was my knee <laughs> I'm gonna get some sleep and then tomorrow we will wrap up this video and all my observations and conclusions if you will so it is the next day it's light out it's daytime the sun is shining we love that um, and I just wanted to kind of go over all my conclusions throughout this challenge this past week and just kind of any observations I've made or things that I kind of learned along the way first and foremost I I'm very proud of myself for completing this challenge. Obviously, I think it was easier having the video to hold me accountable because like if you're making a video about drinking water, like you gotta drink the gallon of water a day. They do even have like half gallon water bottles you can buy on Amazon. I didn't buy one for this video, but I feel like that might help hold you accountable because a lot of them have like time stamps for like how much water you should have drank by a certain time. I'm definitely going to be continuing to drink a gallon a day or as close to it as I can. The first like day or two it was a little bit challenging but beyond that it was smooth sailing like I was finishing a gallon of water by mid-afternoon. It definitely gets easier with time and I found that I was actually thirsty when I woke up so my body kind of learned that it really does need water <laughs> to function and I did mention it a few days ago but I don't really struggle with headaches or migraines or anything like that but I mean I didn't have a headache once this entire week. Another really important thing that I noticed was that my bloating went down significantly. I bloat so easily, it does not matter what I eat, but whenever I eat after a meal, even if it's like a snack, I bloat like crazy. And I think it definitely had something to do with the fact that my body was holding on to a lot of water because I wasn't giving my body enough of it. So having drank more water throughout the week, my body did not bloat after I ate a meal. It was incredible. Like I do have a quite sensitive stomach and a lot of stomach issues. So um, the water really helped with that. I did have like a stomach ache. I think that was day three, but honestly, I think it was just the water flushing out all the toxins in my body. On top of that, I did break out with like three pimples, which is a lot for me. I know that's a little bit dramatic, but I just don't really get pimples that often and usually they're really small but these ones were like ingrown so I think the water was again getting rid of all the gunk that was underneath my skin very deep another thing my energy levels are always pretty high but they have been insane the last week like I wake up at like quarter to seven every day before my alarm even goes off and I'm like ready to start my day so I've noticed a huge difference in that um and just like my mood is amazing I did actually weigh myself at the beginning and the end of this challenge just to see because I've heard that people have lost weight that wasn't my intention for doing this challenge but I did end up losing like two and a half pounds which is pretty crazy I'm not gonna share numbers or anything because I really don't want to trigger anyone and I don't think that that's important but I think that I basically dropped all the water weight that I had been holding on to previously and yeah it's really amazing what water can do for your body this challenge was super fun and very very easy overall like honestly it was not that bad and it definitely did train my body to be drinking water more consistently so I am overall very happy with 
the results of this challenge and uh, I challenge you to try it out for yourself. But I think that wraps up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe down below if you're not already. Also turn on that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. I upload on Mondays and Fridays at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. I love you all to the moon and back. Thank you again for watching. Go drink a glass of water if you're still here. And I will just see you in my next video. Bye, guys.